Ladies and gentlemen, 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 boys and girls, talks, talks, talk. Welcome to another exciting episode of You've Already Peaked Gaming Podcast featuring your host, Locor the Man Base. Also featuring me, the Lobster Dust, who can't get the bags out from under his eyes. It's all right. You don't need the bags or you don't need to not have the bag. The bags show age. <laughs> <laughs> I feel more tired just looking at the god damn look at those things. Yeah. Oh, they're bagging. Dude, that's all I, I I feel like as I've gotten older, I've started to look more and more like my father, which is oof. You know? I like I see pictures of when he was my age and I'm looking at myself and I'm like, damn, the, the, the resemblance is, is staggeringly bad. So I'm just like, if this is what I have to look like when I become the age he is, which is what, like 70, I think is what he is, bro, I'm not happy. Not a happy camper, man. What are you going to do? I don't know, but I wish I could grow an actual Fu Manchu. Also, just... do you see this? Yeah, I actually meant to send you a message. I went and I found that. I don't know what kind of cocaine you've done. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I look like a fucking psychopath. <laughs> I was like, oh, hold on, <laughs> detour just to find that. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Not, not oh. all of them. This one, this one's kind of. Oh. This one doesn't. And I'm, I'm doing exactly. that. And Janica's like, "What are you doing?" I was like, "Trevor said this smells like cocaine." <laughs> and I like said it all loud. <laughs> I kind of like looked around, and there was definitely people that like stopped the turn, be like, "What the fuck?" And I was going, <laughs> "There's, there's like that, that hint of it at the very beginning when you first smell it, because it, it definitely has like a, a man smell. There's like a man smell to it, but at the very, very beginning part of it it's got like the, the chemical smell you know what i mean that ke- that like ooh, that's that's not real <laughs> like, <you know? laughs> happy monday everyone happy friday for us happy friday dude it's another one yeah how's how's fucking welfare life right now it's I need to get back to work Mm. if nothing else to just have mom stop calling you (laughs) (laughs) man I love her she's got to just be excited to have her baby boy close by she is you know what I mean that's what I get it but man, there's something to be said about like being too close and being too available. Yeah, yeah. Just that's what. Oh. And it's like she she knows. I'm just sitting at home, not doing much. Yeah. And today, like I was on the phone with Janica, <laughs> and like she called, and like Janica's got like a lunch break, right? Yeah. So like I'm like I'm on the phone with her. And I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll call her after I'm done talking to you. And like she like calls twice and then immediately hits me with a message like, "What can't pick up the phone?" It's like, "Bitch, calm down." Yeah, come on, come yeah. on now, come on. <laughs> There's an ocean between me and my father, and that's still too close. You know, <laughs> it's, I just I love when like he he used to call and be like, "Oh, you can't pick up the phone, you can't text me, you can't call me," and I'd be like, "You know what? You're right. You're right. It's my bad." And I just tell my dad, I was like, "If I don't pick up the phone, Dad, it's because I don't want to talk to you." Why you gotta be like that? Well, you know, because this is what it is. That's I. I see you calling. I'm not blind. I just didn't want to talk to you. <laughs> like I'll call you when I'm done with whatever I'm doing. 
So now he calls me and he'll leave a message. Just wanted to hear from you, man. Miss you. Love you. Call me when you get a chance. Oh, fuck. All right. Aww. Call him back. <laughs> and then he rambles for 45 minutes. I just, I, you know, I, I change the dog's food and it's, you know. <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> yeah. It's a hell of a day. <laughs> but realistic, I mean, the dog had been going through so much shit, you know, so it was like. Now that the dog is clean and healthy, he's just really excited about it. He's like, all right, yeah, we talked about it. It was the food. It was the food. I changed his food. It's better. It's like, good, man. Fucking great. I got to get out to see them soon. I don't know when, but it's too much. Going to Hawaii. Going to Hawaii to visit family. I mean, we've said it before. I've talked about it for years. It's not a vacation. Yeah. It's not going to Hawaii like everybody else thinks going yeah. to Hawaii. Oh my God! Are you gonna luau? Are you gonna have? You gonna have a Leia? Like you know, run around on the beach? No, I'm gonna sit in a fucking <laughs> an house. It's got cockroaches yeah. and shit. You know, it's just like everywhere. Just imagine going to like Baltimore to see family. You know, <laughs> like just take all of the scenery out of it. Imagine you're just taking a very long flight across the yeah. entire country to go see family. You're going to there it is. You're going to Tijuana without the. Tijuana part. <laughs> yeah. Uh, good lordy. Lord, lord, lord. Right into it? Let's go. Right into it. This is no longer a gaming podcast. Yes. No, we, we've we been talking amongst ourselves mm-hmm. for the last... Honestly, the last like month and a half, like two months. About that time. And we've been listening to the constructive criticism, the unconstructive criticism, everything. Mm-hmm. And we've decided that we are going to take the podcast in a new route. We're still going to try to do, you know, videos and some content that does involve video games, but mostly we would like to follow in Alec Jones's footsteps in exposing the injustices that have been done yep. by the conglomerate world superpowers and but we've 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 also in a way also connecting the dots between them and Kelsey Grammer and finding the the hidden meaning between the lines yep. in the hit TV sitcom Frasier but we're uh, also <clears throat> doing a deep dive we always say yeah them toss salad and scrambled eggs we um you know we we, we kind of like went back and started rewatching stuff and when you really look at the symbolism behind yeah you get the dad's jack it. russell terrier and like them living together what and the why piano actually the meant music. Yeah, yeah exactly there's a lot there's a lot of things there that we've really found to be alarming and we feel like it's our job to yeah. take this in a more serious direction and expose this to yeah. all of you but we've also said um, that we are doing this in a- our friend cliff is a rapist racist <laughs> sorry um and no it's we can't words. stand behind that and we need to um also connect <laughs> dots between those two you know I am, uh, yeah. nancy pelosi is half lizard um Big tits, though. <laughs> Trevor, <laughs> come on, take over any time. Well, I was just gonna say, I was, I was gonna say, I mean, the only thing that we're gonna do differently is we're doing this ev- evangelicus style, like we're going down Joel Osteen, like we're gonna make this a real big spectacle, like that was we're gonna take all the money that we have and put it directly into, you know, doing this more as like a church sermon. Tell, tell the van- Televangelism. Yeah, televangelism. That's what it is. So but you 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 to that you to five hundred dollars <laughs> every month. Because if you don't you if you don't, the lizard people will come and keep turning all the frogs gay. Fucking <laughs> all right. See, this is what happens when you want to do this at, video at games. nine o'clock. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all right, right, never mind. Wipe that out. Like, yeah, yeah, back yeah. to video just, games. <laughs> can we just? Okay. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to You've Already Peaked Gaming <laughs> Podcast, featuring your host, me and this guy. Oh my god! So I started playing. Um, 
Warhammer 40k, Space Marine 2. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. What a beautiful yeah. fucking game. That's what I heard. Holy shit. I was quite taxing on the computer though, yeah. It was it's a, thank god I have something that can run it, you know, because I have it maxed out and it's smooth as butter, you know, and it looks good. And I can understand if you don't if you don't have I'm not saying you gotta have top oh, yeah. of the line, but like you know, you gotta be rocking something a little newer. Yeah. But holy hell, man, the game, the game hits that perfect. Like if you're a, if you're a, like a, a 40k nerd, I am not. I love. Okay, sucks because I really enjoy 40k. I never got into tabletop. Like tabletop 40k for me was as nerdy as nerdy got. Like where I'm like D and D is nerdy. But like, you know, I kind of enjoy it. As I've gotten older, I think, especially with Sean, I've enjoyed it a little bit more. When I was younger, it was it just didn't hit the same way. I wasn't really into that type of role-playing. I wasn't into the actual role-playing part of doing d and I'm still waiting to play D&D. &D. Well, you're, 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 clo you're, you're close enough. We can figure that out. Um, but uh, tabletop, where you like paint your own figurines and build your own armies and stuff like that never i never could get behind that it just never it's like it's like it's like adult risk you know what i mean oh yeah you're getting me fucking rock hard i Dude. love risk yeah. i love spending i love god i i love risk so much i didn't even realize that we played it for like 10 hours <laughs> You know, yeah. where you're like, you're like, all right, let's get another game. And everybody's like, the sun's coming up. And you're like, what? <laughs> what? And we didn't do drugs? What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? Crack another beer, don't be a pussy. Like, <laughs> that's how much I love Risk. Zach Whitman, believe it or not, was trying to get super big into Warhammer before high school. Mm -hmm. But like the cost to entry so back high. then on those nowadays when everybody's got like 3d printers and like resin printers sure it's come a lot further i would imagine sure. i don't personally know but i would imagine it's come a lot further when it comes to that kind of stuff but god it was like back then like a small set of like 50 would be like 500 bucks with like all the stuff to like paint and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, I, I mean the 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 whole set like of kits and he, he was like explained to me he's like i just i need more money like i I'm going to sell my paintball gun because like, I want, I was like, what do you, what do you sell your paintball gun for what? He's like, so there's this game. You get these little things you have to paint. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? It never made any sense yeah, to me. Yeah. And then it was like watching, watching people do these, uh, 40k or like Warhammer, like so, games was just amazing because you'd watch someone come out and they would have armies of like 200 characters to put on screen or on the table. You know, if these are all like my miniatures, right? Mm-hmm. Does each, like, if this one's different from this one, does it have, like, different stats? And that's why, okay. So it's, like... It's adult okay. risk. It's adult risk. It's, like, you pick and choose your armies and how to lay them on the battlefield, and then you just command your armies to where they go and what they do and how they... When they retreat, when they push, how they hold, when they do certain things, and, like, <laughs> it, is a, it is a whole thing. And it's... <laughs> It's really it's one of those things where when you I, I, when you watch I it instantly just got really into this. Yeah, but that's because you're autism. Like look at the magic cards. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> dump thousands into this and <laughs> you never it. Yeah, never do anything with it. Um it's really, really fucking cool to see it. And it is kind of therapeutic, like actually painting your own miniatures and like doing all this stuff. And it's really fucking cool. That part sounds really cool. You know what I mean? And like then watching these battles play out. It'd probably be the same thing for with me for Magic Cards 100% though. Yeah. Like I'd paint them and then I'd be like, I don't really want to do anything with them. I don't <laughs> yeah, want to look at them. Yeah, exactly. But um, so the, the 40K universe has always been something that really interests me. But to, to you got to think 40K lore has gone back I don't know, since what, the, the 80s or whatever? When it's like, when you're like, oh, I want to read about the Chaos Marines or whatever. And someone's like, oh, start here. This is book one. It's like, cool. What Book one of what? And they're like, well, it's written by a bunch of different people and there's a bunch of different series, but it's probably like, if you wanted to justify it, it's probably book one of 200. It's like, 
<laughs> Sorry, what? And they're all like of just of just one faction. Yeah, they're and they're like this thick books too. And I'm like, oh Jesus Christ! Can I get a fucking Spark Notes? Like, yeah, yeah. Here's a Spark Notes. Watch this YouTube video. It's like five this hours is one long. Of Seventy. Yeah, I'm like, what in the fuck is that? So it's so hard because it spans so so many different parts of it. And I remember when I played Space Brains One on the PlayStation Three. I think is when it came out. I was like, that game was really fun. It was cool. It had its it had its moments. It hit its points. You know, it was it was a lot of fun to play, but it was it was short and quick. And it, you know, I think it was like an eight hour, nine hour game or whatever. You were in and out. And it was it was fine. This game though, <clears throat> this game doesn't seem like it's going to be that much longer. I think it's like slated for like a, maybe like a ten or twelve hour game. But something about the way that the characters interact and talk and like there's very it, like you it's just everything is done perfectly for the 40k lore like it doesn't it doesn't go outside of it doesn't branch it's not like a hero type of thing where it's like you know you are the hero and therefore it is you know i've only gotten through you know a couple of missions or whatever it's like you know you're the savior of the blah 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 you know it's just like you're just a fucking ultramarine they just put you back in there like hey we've got another fucking mission for you get back in there like it's like you know he says the creed and it's like it's just it's yeah. really fucking cool but then getting around that and it's and not just that but it's like you you would imagine banter you know how single player video games as they going around characters just banter about stuff or they just talk about nonsensical things to like kind of fill in lore and yet it's kind of like hey you could do without it you could just just put me in the fucking combat and i can let that blast by but it's the way that they talk and they speak and it's that very 40k type of universe thing like you know things are going on like don't let us down for the emperor like yeah you know it's, it's just like <laughs> it just hits and then you watch it and it's like it's just beautiful. It's like you're on this planet and you're defending and like Tyranids are coming off from the side and like you're watching hordes and hordes of enemies coming down mm -hmm. off the hillsides. And for most games, you're like, fuck, that's crazy. That's a cool backdrop. All of a sudden you realize they're getting closer and closer and then they're climbing up the walls and it's like, oh, that's shit I'm fighting right now. That's not just yeah. a cinematic. That's happening, you know? And it's like, it's and it is taxing for the computer because of that but it is so fucking cool to see that happen where you you know when you are expecting swarms to happen and then like the game would cut cut scene you or put you in the next room where you fight like five or six things you're not expecting these hundreds and hundreds of swarms to start crawling up a wall and then you are just in combat with it and it's like whoa it's so sick it's so sick yeah combat is not difficult either by any means like everybody's like oh you know it's souls like esque you know and it's like nah. it's a hack and slash <laughs> you know yeah. you've got a dodge meter <laughs> you've got a counter meter you know or you can counter attacks and you could you know you melee and shoot stuff that's it's pretty straightforward it's pretty bare bones when it comes to the souls esque of it um wow though dude i was just absolutely blown away like i had to get up hella early this morning to go to oakland but i was like I started it last night. I was like, if I didn't have to get up at the crack ass of dawn, I would have been up all night playing it. Yeah. It's just, it's just got you hooked at the very beginning. It's not mm -hmm. like one of the slow burns either. Like you think like after the tutorial level, you're like, maybe it'll keep up. Maybe it won't. You're like, you know, you kind of have, you know, intros are really good. And then like the first couple of missions are like, yeah. and then it kind of picks up again. Dude, this was just go, go, go. And I was like, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Yeah. I've heard, I've heard really good things. A lot of the things I heard, honestly, were like early access, mm. like before it was reviewed. But even at that point, like like Pirate Software, the Thor guy, mm -hmm. like he was like, this game for me is like a, a 9.6. And this is early access. And if they release it full access just as this, it's still a 9.6. Like it's just like, it's, it's what you want. There's not a lot of bullshit. It's good gameplay. It's just good yeah I, I haven't heard anything but good things about yeah. it. yeah good old positive and ironically it, it comes like right on the heels of like hell divers kind of like falling out of favor and it kind of fills that void for what i assume is because i'm assuming you could do like multiplayer and have there is yeah i think you can have up to th three people yeah. pull the mic yeah um but you're, yeah you're you're at a, yeah you're also at a point too where uh, yeah as as it also comes to playing a single player game like cuz you look at games like that and you have squad mates or whatever and that's when you can fill it in with the online and and play with you know co-op um 
so you're expecting, okay, well, I guess your NPC companions are just going to kind of, no way, dude. Like your NPC companions are fucking chads. Like they hold their own to the point where like, it feels good to actually play solo. We're like, you, you know what I mean? Like sometimes you get, you get the single player aspect of video games where it just feels kind of, it feels kind of like, I wish I wasn't playing with NPCs because they're such trash. I'll wait. I'm good. I just want to adjust that a little bit. It felt <laughs> like you were, you're looking at a lot of my ceiling. There's not a lot going on. I wanted a little more of that rich wood paneling. Yeah. Yeah. Just keep going. Crop it right keep at going. the top of the head. What are you talking about? Um, but uh, it, it is one of those things where like as. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Get closer. Enhance. 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 Nope, that's it. That's where, that's where it goes. Okay. Is it, can, I, can I do that? How close can I get? Whoa! <laughs> so anyway. There's your thumbnail! <laughs> oh, now I have no idea where I had this set at. This is going to be a fucking thing. All right, continue um, what you were saying. I have no idea Act what like I was happened. fucking saying. Does, oh, your NPC companions are fucking <laughs> fun to play with. They're good. They're good companions to play with. It feels fun to play with the NPCs in the game because they do the thing. Like, they get enemies in position where you can execute them and stuff like that. And it doesn't feel like you're just walking around with, you know, the Stormtrooper-esque where it's like, do, 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 but they're not hitting anything. And it's like, okay, I'll go yeah. take care of that enemy then. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, when, you because, finish with yours. You look, you're like, you're on the same fucking guy. Exactly. Because there's so much stuff going on and swarming at some point where you know you'll be on one side of the map like or the the area that you're at fighting the enemies and you're like oh i saw those guys push on the other side and you turn around and your npc companions are just dealing with it and it's like this is sick man this was it was just good i'm i'm yeah. i'm impressed so far i'm impressed i have not gotten very far into it i played about two and a half hours and i'm ready to just dive into it and have fun yeah i'm jealous of I, I guess new games. I don't know. I'm 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 in this fucking Tarkov death loop, and uh, I don't know. I'm a little apprehensive. I need to, I need to fix the computer that's in the box so I can really like like something like like Space Marine Two. Like I've heard like a lot of things. It's like it, it is taxing on the system. You do want something newer. It's like I don't want to get a game and like just be more discouraged. Like loading it on my computer and being like. <laughs> you know, like, I mean, at this point, this uh, is this is what I'm thinking with that that other computer. This is what we need to do. Uh, new, no, no, new no, no, chip. no, no, fuck it. Throw it in the river. We don't know what is wrong. You got your P, uh, PSU RMA, and you got, and the GPU is fine, right? Yes. So take the fucking computers apart. Use the Mobo you have right now with the GP or the CPU you have. Swap the PSU swap the gpus and just run it that way the only thing that mattered was like yeah you wanted the i9 or whatever from that fucking 12th gen or whatever but it's like who cares like if you've got a pc that's running the gpu is kind of the most important thing when it comes to like taxing graphics and you needed the psu to run off of everything so just fucking slap those into what you already have like and i'm not saying you're like oh well, the, the fucking thing is too small to put the big thing well, fuck it put it in the Don't other one fucking talk like that oh sorry um but take take the computer apart. <laughs> take the computer apart let's put the 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 mobo and the cpu that work with the ram in the new box and just put it with the psu in there and then slap the gpu in it or you just spend more money i mean you can't like you... you can you can you, yeah. You're not doing anything right now. You could spend all the money in the world. Amazon still delivers to the house. And it's better to do it now before winter time because then that shit yeah. fucking won't get lost. Or delayed. Only takes two weeks. What? What does? I'm just kidding. Oh, God. <laughs> Amazon. Oh, yeah. It's like four days. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Is that what you want to do? What? You don't. You still don't even know if it's the CPU that's the issue. No, I'm just I'm just gonna buy and buy a pre-built. Buy a pre-built. 
right? Buy a, pre- buy a pre-built kids. Because at this, at this point, it's like you might as well because at least you know it'll work. You know? <laughs> and then we can just troubleshoot the other one. Because if you had the board RMA'd, the t- the CPU that you have in there is not is not one of the ones that was on the the fault list. The only other thing it could be is the is the GPU, right? Yeah. It's getting so bright. It's getting so bright. Uh, whoa. <laughs> it's, it's so bright. The, the white balance is just trying to like catch up. There it goes. It's coming back. It's <laughs> Look like your soul was, is was leaving your body. Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> fucking season two of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I'm, I'm done with Tarkov, man. I can't do it. I'm still, I'm still in it. I'm, I just, I'm so fucking over. I'm it, still dude. in it, dude. I'm, I'm still in it. I have, I have to, I have to get to Lightkeeper. I mean, that was my goal too. I was like, okay, soft cap was like. I don't even really care about Kappa. Like Kappa would be cool. I really just want to see what Lightkeeper has. That's I know like the, that's like the one thing that but I. By the time you get to Lightkeeper, you are like three missions away from Kappa. You know, it's one in the same at that point. Mm. Here's the next thing. Here's the next thing. We're playing PVE Tarkov. We don't have to worry about the wipe. We can always get Lighthouse. It's not, like you don't have to go, on, go nonstop on it right now, right? Like you can do something else. Nah. No. The gun game that we played today was the best time I've had in Tarkov. In that weeks. was a lot of fucking fun. That was that was great. Yeah, Aaron's a pussy for not enjoying it. That we, was, that we, was so we did fun. the first we did the first raid. I was like, oh man, this is so much fun. He bitched the minute I told him the idea. He was like, I don't want to do it. Blah, blah, blah. It's like fine, we can do something else. No, I'm gonna make room. We got into interchange. We were there five seconds. He got fucking head tapped. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> sorry, man. This is, I mean, that's just kind of how the game goes. But at the same point in time. But like the, the you didn't cost lose it. Like yeah, you didn't lose shit, dude. What do you care? You didn't lose anything. Yeah, get over it. I had I had a blast with that today. I had a blast. Because it just it felt like scav runs, and I didn't have to wait 20 minutes for a scav run. You know what I mean? I was just fucking going and we were just kitting up and it was just it was dope to play and like killing things and then like, I'm out of ammo. Just pick up another gun and not worry about like, well, this is a gun I brought into my raid. I got to pack mags. No, fuck that. Once the mags were empty, I was dropping and grabbing something else. It was dope. I was having so much fun. With yeah, that. I was literally I was pulling the ammo from because most times I didn't have a lot of space. I was like just pulling ammo and it's like, all right, this is decent ammo. I'll keep it in here. I had one mag and I just like pulled a pulled a cover switch to another gun, pull the mag out, repack that mag and yeah. just go right back in. Yeah. It was it was just fun. It was freeing. It was freeing to not have to worry about your kit cuz you didn't really give a shit. Yeah, no just, gear fear. Yeah, no, no gear, gear fear, fear at all whatsoever. I was just like I'm dropping this the minute I find something. And if you better. die, you fucking die. Yeah. Interchange is kind of perfect cuz you always find food. Yeah. And not only did so it's really yeah, taking no, a lot out of it. Yeah, we were we were getting out with like relatively full food, full bellies and like okay shit and like i just sold all the shit we did for the couple runs today and i made more than what i took into the raids you know what i mean oh easy like a couple hundred thousand worth when it only cost me like you know forty thousand dollars in entry it was like yeah this is fucking so much fun it was a blast it was a blast i enjoyed every minute of it aaron it's just a fun just a fun way to explore this same game you well know? like and, and not only aaron was like that's what i love i love like when there's like people make a game within a game like yeah. you give yourself a weird challenge or just something like that just it breaks the monotony of like what it always yeah. is and like aaron said he was like he's like you guys are already at this point like i can't believe you're already at this point it's like first off this is your having f- fun <laughs> no it's it's your first ever time like in a wipe even though it's a persistent world because it's pve it's his first 
Tarkov experience. So everything yeah. has meaning. At He's at a real different point. Than <laughs> exactly. What I me, mean, I'm just like, I do not give a shit. Let's just go, dude. I don't want to sit in menus for 45 fucking minutes to be in raid for five minutes. You know what I mean? Before I'm fucking tapped and done. I just want to go. So what are you doing here? You all right? I'm looking at the the required list of the required quest list for Kappa just to get the life. quest just to unlock lighthouse keeper. It's thick, dude. It's One, two, thick. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen real, real late quests. Yeah. Ugh. And then not only that, but some of the quests that you have to do to decon decon decode or whatever the fucking little thingy majiggy is a nightmare to do it is not an easy fucking quest chain by any means it's doable but it's like it's doable for people that have our level like 52 in regular wipe and they're like yeah i've been grinding every day since wipe happened you know what i mean and like people are just now on the subreddit being like i got my lighthouse i got my kappa you know what i mean i'm like Ugh, dude rough man and that's what i'm saying it's like why push so super fucking hard there's other things to play or other things to just break up the monotony i love tarkov i'm having fun with it like don't get me wrong but i'm also like at a point where my missions are so fucking tedious i'm like i'm tedious. not i'm not having fun and i because it is pve i'm not getting the pvp aspect of it so like like we were talking about today, going in and killing PMCs to getting like mediocre fucking weapons does not have the same yeah. like hit and effect. So I'm like, yeah, not not coming across some fucking guy who put together a fucking Chad build for like shooter born in heaven. And you're like, oh, this is fucking sick. You're always just kind of getting. It's yeah. always like some kind of AK-74. Mm -hmm. If it's a fucking if it's a, like a sniper it's like the fucking like the SVD mm -hmm. with that fucking loophole fucking three X on it. Like yep. it, like you can almost call yep. like what gun it's going to be. Oh, a fucking another pump shotgun with fucking. Yep. And like, they might have like flechette in it and you're like, Oh, that's cool. Yeah. But the, the, the kill for the most part, you're pulling like fucking PP or like hot boy shits like BT. Yeah. And that's, what I'm, and like, that's about it. My, my killing of PMCs now is checking rigs and armor for, T5 and up and pulling fucking AFAX and grenades and then checking ammo. That's it. Yeah. Like, AFAX and nades. Yeah. That's, that is, that's my loop for PMC kills right now. I don't give a shit about what they're actually running, especially because 90% of the time, everything that I have, I can purchase myself now being max traders. So, oh God. Yeah. Oh God. Oh God. See how bright it is? <laughs> so. <laughs> I don't like I don't like how like <laughs> I shift back and like mm. so in other gaming news did you see that the Nintendo company and Pokemon are finally going after Pal World for the Pal Spheres it being a trademarked in front a trademark infringement or some shit like that it's so dumb. Did you also see that um, they filed the suit? I'm gonna I'm gonna get the timeline fucked up, but they filed the suit in some part of 2024, and the actual. Did you hear that too? Is your mother here? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. They, they filed a lawsuit on trademark infringement, and I want to say there was like a month and a half discrepancy between when they actually trademarked the the function of a ball opening up at a, at like the half circumference point. It's Some, something it's like so, that. Where it's it's like, so stupid. Like, because I I know that they went through the, like you knew. You knew Nintendo and Pokemon were like, let them fucking ride for a bit and make as much money as possible. Oh, yeah. So when we go after them, we can capitalize on all of it. You know what I mean? And it's just like, oh, you it's so fucking cringe, dude. It's, it's did you expect any different? No, I didn't. I didn't expect anything different. But even if they weren't such like a shitty, scummy, like vindictive, like 
I guess you kind of have to be when it comes to like your IPs. I guess I kind of get that, but to go after something like this almost feels like just spiteful because they're like, why couldn't we do this? <laughs> like, well, why couldn't we make a game that was like this widely well, celebrated? Uh, again, it's, and don't it, tell me it was the guns because it really wasn't. That was a fun turn, but if like their fucking Pokemon Arceus was anything like this, anything. <laughs> like, that's kind it would have been a completely different story. I think story. that's kind of the thing about it is like when they Pokemon got so big and so wildly popular, but they kept it in like the Disney aspect where it's like it's family friendly. It's always been more family friendly on that aspect. Tell me there's know? not a Psyduck fucking snorting meth in a fucking alleyway. I mean, probably, but I mean, but th that's that thing. It's like because they had to keep it family friendly, they couldn't go outside of that range. They knew they knew their demographic. They knew who these games would be selling to. It's demographic grew up. Yeah, but not all of it. No, but the, because that's the thing. The demographic grew up, but the people, the the kids are still playing these games. Yeah, there's still kids involved. Yeah, so it's the but, it's the Disney effect, man. You can't you can't. Ha Disney's not going to go out of their way. Like they they didn't you give endorse me a Pokemon Conquers Bad Fur Day. <laughs> Yeah, you know the adult, you know the adult people, but then it's a black mark that stained on it. Look at how much fucking issue like Deadpool had for the longest time because had had yeah, but like look how much it blew up. Now the difference is is that if Pal World then partners with Game Freak or fucking Nintendo and the Pokemon Company, that's a different story because now they can kind of control it and see where it goes. You know what I mean? But. It's just, it's just shitty. It's shitty that indie can't be indie. They can't, they can't have a love for something. They can't find that, like, hey, this is, this is what we enjoy, and this is, we made a game based on that because it all comes down to money. If they didn't make any fucking money, no one would have said a thing. You know, that's yeah. the worst part. If you take it all away, if they just put this game out there and it never made a dime, no one would say a fucking thing. But they blew up and made a lot of money. And so now it's it's a big issue. That's just greed, baby. Yeah. That's just greed. Greed's always gonna win. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I mean, look at Tarkov. Tarkov is all <laughs> greed. <laughs> Tarkov is all greed. It's all. Greed. It's the it's the reason that gets me fucking coming back. Because of the greed. Why haven't you purchased your unheard edition? Oh no no no! I still have a soul. Eh. Eh, what a cop out do you get more line what space a... yeah do you have a bigger stash than eod does i think so even with even without you purchasing extra space yeah i think so see that might get me i think it's in the pocket size what was eod 72 yeah, i don't want anybody to know though god that's the thing dude who cares you're playing pvp that's the... or PvE. I'm, I'm already i'm already i already have eod and i like like end bosses is like you fucking piece of shit like okay, like I, I didn't, I didn't know this was such a taboo amongst the hardcore fucking Tarkov community. It's such a stupid thing because okay, the people, the people that suffer the most are the people that own Unheard Edition, and I'll explain why. I'll explain why. <laughs> okay, it's, it's gonna sound real shitty at first, but it's gonna make sense. You all, okay. you all fucks bought EOD. That was uh -huh. that was all Unheard of Edition is right. You fucks paid to win at a time for, time for the time that it came out for the existence. I had the standard account for the longest period of time, but you guys paid for your EOD editions. They gave you your extra fucking rep, all your different things. Look at Aaron. He's struggle busting through all the stuff. He's still got an alpha case because he's trying to get through Epsilon. He just hasn't been able to get there yet. You know what I mean? Oh, let's see. If EOD was still available today, I would have just bought EOD, but I can't. I told you to. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you told me. I can't. So yeah. now to get on the same level as the rest of my friends, to at least have more stash base, to have the fucking rep with the traders, to have all that stuff, I am forced into spending more money. I am forced into spending more money than you were. I cannot spend less money. There is no EOD edition for me. The uh, unheard of edition players, the new people that came in to play on uh, the game and get into that level cap of a pay to win aspect of it, are forced into the unheard edition. We're the people who lose out. Is there any more to this suffrage that I'm supposed to be hearing? Yeah. Don't fucking try and bag on the people that buy unheard of when that's the only option that they have. They're, they're not given another option. If 
EOD existed and then they bought Unheard, bag on them. Bag on them. Yeah. Now, now all of a sudden it sucks because nah. now. So what was I supposed to do? Just stay with my standard account? You should have got EOD when I told you. Oh, 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 so pay to win when that was the option. But now that it's not the option and I bought the one that is pay to win, I'm now the one in the wrong. Yes. Because. Because you have so much more perks. I don't. Look at your pockets. Yeah. You fucking. Yeah. Bitch. Pockets are dope. Dude, pockets are so fucking dope. Being able to take a sail away in with you, like on the beginning, not without a rig. Oh, it's so fucking nice. It's so nice. Being able to reload a mag, having that empty pocket space, and instead of having a filled oh, rig, it just goes you. straight to your pockets. Oh, dude, you never drop a mag on accident. Oh, it's so fucking sick. It's so sick, dude. Having Colta Circle already unlocked, man. All the fucking. Oh, I'm uh, starting to get the itchies. <laughs> oh, I'm starting to get the itchies. I'm gonna spend some money. It's <laughs> so sick, dude. It's so sick. Yeah. It does feel bad though. It feels bad that you have to that that you're like I said. It's you're not given an option. Listen, listen. First off, EOD. Yes, pay to win. Mm -hmm. But I feel like EOD was whoa at the at the time that I got it. Mm -hmm. I was being told that it's like, oh, this is the more see, this is the unfair thing. I was kind of like, like this is like the supporter. This is like like the fucking like the you you do this. But the unheard came so late, and it's such a fucking shitty time in Tarkov's history that people are like, this is like, don't you fucking dare! Like the community took a united stand. Yeah, yeah. and those who bought it they're like check this out chat <laughs> and like the whole their whole fucking like stream was like you're a fucking cocksucking piece of shit thing Bellion, like, like just <laughs> calling people out and they're like um it was gifted to so many people like it was gifted to me well, like here's here's also the thing about it too is like it's not you specifically if, and it's not that it's pay to win because eod is pay to win it is the circumstance in which it's like buying a tiki torch fucking six years ago. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. You're like, so you're a white supremacist. Yeah. What? No, yeah. I have mosquitoes. Um, <laughs> like, if, if, okay, here's, here's also the next thing. If, if battle state games didn't try and cuck the community over with the unheard of edition yes. and gave EOD all the stuff that they had promised with the unheard edition, still having its own thing and saying, Hey, by the way, we're doing the PVE we're arena, what all the extra fucking things. EOD's getting it. We're going to get rid of EOD. And now we're only going to have an unheard of edition. Not a single person would have fucking complained. Not a single person because all of EOD's fucking main complaint was we don't get this stuff. If but if they pulled EOD, yes, you're right. But if they pulled EOD, they gave Unheard Edition. EOD got that upgrade, but they still kept the price of EOD or at of Unheard at Unheard. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we should start a business. Um, <laughs> if they if they pulled EOD, released Unheard, kept Unheard where it's at, like the price point. Uh huh. You know, yes. I think they still would have been like, so you're going to fucking rug pull EOD, but then charge more for the same well, thing that they're getting. I, again, I think it's the next thing where they came into the idea of saying like, like, you know, things cost more money. We need to make more money. And this is what we're doing. Okay. That's fine. I still think in all, all of this, they should have given EOD players everything that they promised with the unheard of edition and just kept EOD live. Then people could have just picked to choose. I'll, I'll buy EOD. Yes. Have less pocket spaces, have all the stuff that unheard of edition gets, or spend the more money, be the supportive. Because all you were was gaslit into fucking buying EOD. This is how you yeah. support people. No, you were no, it didn't matter. It was just about spending money. It's the same thing why we buy our deluxe editions of fucking whatever games they are. Like someone says, like, oh, you know, they make fun of people. It's like you buy you pre-order digital copies of video games, like they're gonna run out. Yeah. You know what I mean? The deluxe editions. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, and they're always there. You know, you can always buy them later. It's no big deal. Hell, you could buy the game baseline. I have the art book for so many books online. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Online art That's books. The fucking worst, dude. That's the I mean, worst. a fucking Google image search. Yeah. <laughs> and then like you get it and it's like a PDF folder or something. It's like, Jesus and Christ. Every, or no, even worse. 
every page. time you go to launch on steam it asks oh. what you want to do do you want to look at the artwork or do you want to like the fuck why would i want to look at the artwork? or my favorite one is when i launch the artwork and it brings up fucking microsoft edge to view it in it's like what are you Ooh. doing dude <laughs> like, i've never had the open one that would piss me off <laughs> yeah dude that's so annoying you don't even own it it's just a url <laughs> yeah man it's well, so they keep the maintenance up on that i oh. want it forever god dude it's so stupid so stupid i hate i hate video game companies i i love the indie aspect of things i hate i also hate the indie aspect of things like i'm we're getting into right now where i'm getting back into trying to record videos where i'm done with the turn i'm trying to i've got things going on in in the world around me but i'm still trying to like fucking get back to recording we put a couple fucking seven days episodes out like i'm really trying to plug away at that and you know what i need to try and do is we got spooktober coming up holy shit are you here what happened that was a big one yeah holy moly <laughs> what i need to do is <laughs> i was like oh <laughs> i was saying i was saying that uh I, you know Spooktober, man. Spoopy games. Spoopy games. I downloaded. I have my list of all my spoopy games that I have. I'm in a haunted house. Dude. In wood paneling. I just need to go get some fucking. My, at my mom's house, I have all my dad's old, like, like taxidermy deer heads and shit. Yes. So I can just need to mount those. Get some fucking fans going on. Dude, do we do, do we do a jump scare run? Do I just come up and we just record a bunch of jump scare episodes? I don't know. Not in this house, dude. Dude, I yes. So, so Janica has these like, they're like motion sensor, like lights. Okay. That like you put like in like a closet. Yeah. If you like wave yeah. your hand, it like turns them uh -huh. on. Oh man. They, they've been sitting on the counter in the kitchen. Just turn. And they're all like in a line. And like, I've like opened the door and I can't, came in and like started doing something like at like nighttime. Like I'm like, we're going to get water before bed and you see him like, like go down in a line, like one turns on, one turns off, one turn like in a line. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it, man. Let's, mm. We'll get a Ouija board. We'll get the whole fucking thing going. Fucking. Oh God. Maybe that's what this bright light is. Maybe something's directly in front of the camera and it's just trying to show up. It's just, <laughs> we'll get, oh, we'll have to like, we'll put a camera there, me here, you there. We'll do it like on a Twitch stream and we'll get some like interactions where like a stroke play goes off. Or... What we'll do, Ugh. we'll, uh, we'll shoot, we'll record, um, fuck, what is that game called? Phasmophobia. And then no. in between Faz? Faz. In between or demonologist. Oh, either or the same. The same fucking thing. We'll shoot demonologist. We'll shoot. Okay, we'll shoot demonologist, and then in between each of the runs that we do, we'll record us doing some fucking EVP around the house. Oh, or Blair <laughs> Blair Witch Project in the woods. We'll, we'll sacrifice a deer. I feel. Mm, that's sketchy only because that area out there you can get fucking lost so quick. Kill you yeah so exactly right we won't <laughs> die to any ghosts we'll die to like a fucking yeah we'll die to a cougar man it's called content <laughs> Blair Witch got him I'm sure I saw the cat <laughs> <laughs> oh man that's how I want. I want to get a bunch of things recorded because I, I all the games that I downloaded, I guarantee you they're not. I'm not gonna fucking make a video out of every single one of them, but if I can, if I can make a ton of them, that'd be cool, man. It'd be fucking cool. I don't, Spooptober, it's just spooky games in general are always like, I don't know, the most fun. Like oh. the whole friend group like fucking stops whatever we're doing. We're all fucking start getting in there. We're playing these ridiculous fucking games. Yeah, it's just and, it, and it's just fucking it's a vibe it is a vibe it is a vibe i so the first game that i'm going to put out on in october for spooktuber so last year i did that uh how to be a fish game or whatever it was i think it was the first video i put out on the channel <laughs> it's supposed to be scary that's the theme now 
I think the first video that's going out is another fishing horror game. <laughs> I've downloaded like two or three of them. <laughs> because apparently this is a genre. <laughs> Something about it is just so weird. There is. Expand. Hold on. Okay. Fuck what I was just thinking. <laughs> what? What do you mean? What's a genre? Fish spooky games. Yeah. Spooky fish games. Or fish games or fishing games. <laughs> There's a game called Lure. <laughs> oh, do you remember that fucking like the Bass Pro fishing for like Nintendo 64 where the controller had the fucking thing that it pulled the fishing line? Oh, yeah. Imagine doing it with that. <laughs> I saw this is a haunted one. I saw this. Uh, there's a game that's out right now. It's like a haunted golf game. So it's just like you golfing on like a haunted golf course. But when you do your first like swing or whatever, there's a guy that like pops out of the woods and like you can't look at him too long or he'll kill you. But every time you look away, he gets closer. So you have to like look at him and then run to your ball and then look at him and then like swing the ball and then look at him and then run to your ball. Like, and it's just like terrifyingly weird dude like what the f that's what i'm saying horror games are of the greatest thing in this world because there's so many horror games that are like well thought out well planned you have things like like the the mortuary's assistant and stuff like that where it's just like it's just off enough that it just doesn't feel okay and then you have the other ones where they're just goofy fun like knock around horror games there's one called um when the devil trips or something or when the devil falls and it's about a, it's like a it's like a i think it was a game jam game it was like 30 seconds long so you open up an elevator you walk down a horror door and then like this like demon comes out of the back room and it just runs down the hallway and you run back to the elevator and you're pushing the button to go and like right before it gets to the elevator it just trips and falls <laughs> and it just says game over <laughs> it's just it's so it's so funny to have like this high anxiety and then just watch this thing like crumple <laughs> it's so funny man oh it's so good all right i need your help okay how do I find things that I've bought other people in my Steam library? I need to know if I got you this game. Okay, so up at the... Well, first off, if you just click on the game, on the right-hand side, it'll say friends that own this game. I don't remember. I don't remember what the name of the game was. Okay, so then if you're looking at that, which you're... Oh. Do you own it as well? You don't, don't remember. Know. The only other thing you could do is go through your actual account and see what, like your purchase things were you don't remember yeah, that's what i'm trying so to i have a lot i have a lot of the games that you you have bought me that are downloaded and ready to go there's a bunch of them because you you kind of li lined me up for spooktober every time i see a spoopy game i find i send them to you yeah and there i think my mom is here um either that or there's something really haunted going on over there um there was one game that i saw where almost all of it is you're talking to AI and the AI is the ghost. And that's how you figure out what it is. The entire thing is like you have different things, but it's all based off what you say. And it talks back to you oh, the entire that's time. Creepy. I don't know. If you, I know. I don't know. There's one where Ooh, you, you, to... you sent me one that was like a unreal five game or some or unreal engine five or whatever. And it's like, it was one where like the ladies like, cleaning up like a dead body with like a broom and then she like sees you and like snaps backwards and like goes into the room and then like crawls around the corner and it's just like the movements of it was like it like just just thinking about it like raises the hair on my arms it was like yeah. i downloaded it i was like oh this is dope and then i was like man i don't know how much like i have to do oh, this is that chucksy yeah maybe i don't remember but there's some yeah, there's one of them that there. there's a couple of them that like i'm like dude i'm gonna have to shoot these during the day because they're like they're crazy creepy dude like and i'm okay i love horror games i'll play them at nighttime that doesn't ma matter to me i played mortuary's assistant in the middle of the night and then something about mortuary's assistant by the time i was done playing Ugh. dude i got the i got the creeps like nobody's business mortuary's assistance was weird god oddly enough the one they got me the most was like the grandma on the outside of the window yeah that was just unsettling yeah. not even like creepy or scary just like unsettling to the point where i did not feel nice i will tell you so i've always said that i think there's something 
in my house. Like, I'm not saying this haunted or whatever. I got something happened the other day and it was weird, dude. It was weird. I was laying in the, in the room. So I was, I can't remember if it was early morning or late night. I think it was early morning. It was like three in the morning, three or four in the morning. And I just ha- I couldn't get to sleep. I woke up. It was like three. I was like, eh. grab some water. I was drinking. It was wa- on my phone. And this is like where I'm like trying to like come to grips with was I half asleep? Was I awake? And I'm like, I was pretty fully awake because I'm like pretty cognitive of this. It just sounded like scratching on the door. Like, not like, and not like rat scratches. You know how you have like, like kind of skitter scratches, like long, long. finger drill drags. And I opened the door immediately because I was expecting to see something or just have something there. Or maybe it was like, you know, and it was just nothing. It was just pitch black. It was nothing. And I was just like, not today, Satan, not today. But it was just like, it was so weird how like, on the door and like oh, oh my god it was so weird i was like oh no i'm not doing it not doing it man hell yeah dude spoopy seasons upon oh, us oh man i cannot wait i need to find this fucking game we'll have to take a look i'll show you i'll show you the list of the games that i have downloaded and then we can kind of like go through and see which ones we want to do because i'm looking at it like you know realistically if we're if we're talking about you know the month of october and I actually tried to get videos out for October. Like I'd like to do one on the first of October and the last day of October. So that's a Tuesday and a Thursday. And I still want to shoot seven days as well, but that, that only gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you know, 10, 11 videos throughout October to like get out and pump out. Like I've got like 25 games downloaded. You know what I mean? I want to put some on high priority because I'm sure there's going to be some of them that I play that are just going to be so long that I'm not going to be able to like make cuts of and do that. I want to kind of like stick to things that are a little bit more shorter, a little bit easier to like plug through, you know, stuff that is like more of like, hey, here's the horror aspect of it and move on with your day. Yeah, we'll take a look. We'll take a look. But I'm ready for it. I'm ready. I'm ready for the jump scares. Now I just need to determine if I want to record my face while I did them all. Like how I did that uh that Father's Day fucking video where like it was like the first time that I had recorded like my face during that was the one where like I snapped oh, yeah. and I got all scared and snapped my head. <laughs> 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 yeah, absolutely. See, that's what I was thinking. I was like, oh, if we do it spooky month, maybe I'll just record me you know actually visually record me throughout all that 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 process just takes a lot because i had to fucking move cameras around and like i have to record two different things i have to record the camera and then record the game so we have to take a look at it but that would be so much fun to have a just a plethora of fucking spoopy games plus if we don't you know whatever we record we don't use now we could always save for later you know no well, you're off of work. Yeah. I, how about I get I just give you a full time editing job? Sorry, I'm like, I'm like looking at like I know you're a, you're not now. you're nowhere near I'm, me. I'm, I'm, I'm gone a thousand yards there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this podcast is me talking to Brad staring at a wall. <laughs> I'm, I'm so like my, my mind I, I got like ADHD, ADHD brain right now like just focused on nothing but horror games now yeah, I'm so ready for it I'm so ready for it it's gonna be a blast I, I think it's gonna be more fun than I had originally thought it was gonna be because the games that I do have on a lineup I'm like dude these are so creepy like I think last year was cool for it because we just put some shit out and I was like whatever but like now we're gonna try and it make cool this like demon but not like doing like new kind of like more fringe weirder shit yeah dude. i'm into it i got i got i, I, I kind of like i like those like games like, like we, we played but like that like when the base builds up and like faz and like you feel all like the hairs on yeah. your body stand up and then you go to sleep and you're sitting there and then all of a sudden you just Bro, that was, I swear to God, that was Mortuary's assistant. It, that game was so quiet for 90% of the game because it was so quiet. That was what was making my hair stand up. Like I could, yeah. I could feel like all of a sudden, like your body just going 
something's not right and then all everything goes ching, and it's like yeah <laughs> i love that shit yeah. oh it'll be good all right kids yeah let's get out of here have a good have a good week be good to everyone and uh rem- no. remember or don't just buy remember us- just buy as much baby oil we're, as you can now. Almost no matter where <laughs> almost no matter where you are. Something else has been there first. Mmm, sloppy seconds. All right. Bye. Bye.